Hey guys, it's Wendy Hardneck with Hardneck Farms, and I've been wanting to do this for quite a while, <clears throat> but my voice has been hoarse and totally gone. So I'm going to give you some ideas for Christmas gifts, and I know it's pushing it, but you still have time to order on Amazon. I ordered these flower sack dish towels, and um, they come in a bundle. I did happen to order that on Black Friday since I don't get out and do the Black Friday thing. So I was thinking that you could either take cookie cutters, they're shaped like leaves, or Christmas cookie cutters, but I picked out some leaves that fell from the tree, and I was gonna trace them onto this flower sack dish towel, and then use some acrylic paints, and then paint the, the design on there, let it um, dry, and then fold them up and get them as Christmas gifts with washing instructions and not to put it in the dryer, just to hang dry. I get these cake boards cut all the time and as you can tell, I use them for everything on top of crafts to cake boards and everything. But when you do a cake, you put the food grade um, fancy full around it. So you can use them for all kinds of stuff. So there's, one of the ideas I had for Christmas gifts that I've been wanting to do, and I haven't had time to do, so I'm, I've got to get this stuff done. So, this is not my idea. This is my friend's idea. I meet with some friends um, for coffee once a week, and she had ordered these on Amazon. She had some um, pencils or markers that are safe for clothing and stuff. So we traced some little designs <clears throat> and my grandson's name is Jesse. He likes dinosaurs, so I used her um, stencils for dinosaurs, different colors, named what the dinosaur was, put his name on it, and then I did the back, just some little designs with his name on it. And that way he can just use it for toys, books, anything he wants to put in there. <clears throat> also, my friend said, since I'm giving it to him for Christmas, I could order the markers on Amazon, put the markers in there, and he can color the dinosaurs. So, that is a, a gift idea for youngins. <clears throat> and I pick up acorns that size. And then these giant sizes. And these little things will pop out. So you hot glue that in. Stick that in there. And once it's hot glue, then you use a, a spray, like a clear spray. Then you paint the acorn. And then you put glitter on it. And when it dries, you seal it again. And it gives you these little now these are the smaller ones, and I haven't sealed those so you don't have glitter all over your house, but they make great little decorations for little trees, and you take the plastic off, and once you get these decorated, you could go around the whole cone, hot glue these around all the way up, all decorated, and then spray it real good, and then it'll make another little homestead Christmas gift and it's really a lot of fun now I picked this up at Dollar Tree I went back <clears throat> they only had this size left they were so completely out but they used to have the ones where you could do four littler ones you could decorate these so if you wanted to fill them with that or just all kinds of different things and then personalize it and put the name like, you could even do, like, your homestead name, like your Hardneck Farms, and then the year, or the year your homestead was established, put it on your tree. You could personalize it, decorate it for your family members, and give it to them. So, just little gift ideas. And, of course, these little pot scrubbers that are made out of tulle. Uh, everybody loves these. I kind of have made homemade gifts for many, many, many years. 
So I'm in my 50s, so everybody tends to expect homemade gifts. And if I don't do homemade gifts and I buy them something, they seem really disappointed. So I have to get creative every year, but year after year, they want these. Another thing is I don't do a lot of canned goods, but I will pick up this <coughs> until I can get my farm going again. You take your cans and you wash them, get the label off. Then, before you do anything else, you measure, you could do construction paper, you could take your old Christmas cards and cut them and wrap them. You could just do this, or you could do all sorts of little um, designs. Then you bake, well you spray it real good, but you put baked goods in here like um, a gingerbread or a pumpkin bread or a white bread and then just wrap it and then at the top wrap it with tulle or get you some more Christmas pattern um, material and do the top as well. I've done that many times and people really like those. Also, I make homemade soap. This is a coconut oil and lavender, I mean olive oil, lavender soap. And I've wrapped these and they make great stocking stuffers along with those too. And then I use hemp cord to decorate. So those are some ideas. <clears throat> also, I hit the thrift store. I did find a bunch of these at a garage sale. But I found this the other day at the thrift store for $1.91. These make the best little fast soap molds. So if you're wanting to make your own soap for your homestead, you could use these <coughs> and pop them out. And they, they are just really neat. I found these the other day as well. And I have a whole bunch of them. They're just packed right now. That's why I had to go get some more. So I found these. It was a bag of them. Had the little stars. You can make little star soap. Maybe for a little girl. Get you some pink mica. Or just leave it natural. There's little pumpkins, skulls. All kinds of little things. Now these littler ones, um, I would just do for like chocolate. And then there was a jello mold. Which, I don't know that I would put the soap in that. The silicone's better. Because it'll just pop right out. If you put it in something hard like that, I don't think it'll come out real good. So there's some ideas. That was a $1.91 as well. This was a $1.91. And I don't know if you guys use this stuff. And I forgot to bring it out. I cross-stitch. I've cross-stitched since I was 16. And so this was really a heck of a deal actually both of these so I did I picked up two of them but still that's quite a bit for a dollar 91 because normally they're like maybe 65 cents a piece for the sheets so I cross stitch and I <clears throat> I'm working on it doing individual candy canes so and I've done some smaller canvas like the 14 count and did little candy canes for little mini trees and everybody that has ever come over to my house is like, where did you get that? 